Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Sorry about the uh, sound of the fan. There's nothing I can do about that. It turns on when my bathroom light turns on. Uh, I'm in a Mythbuster mood today. Every once in a while, or a lot, you get all these kind of weird recipes on Facebook and on the internet for stain removers. And Now I tried the baking soda peroxide on my cookie sheets. Didn't work. Well, it did, but I would have had to scrub just as much as if I'd used oven cleaner. So, busted as far as I'm concerned. But I'm going to try stain remover uh, for my clothes. Because I have some favorite clothes that uh, have some oil stains and grease stains on them and stuff. And I also have an old rag that has tea stains on it. And we're going to see if this recipe works. Alright, this is what we're going to do. Alright, first off, we're, here's the recipe. So let's get started on that. We'll start with the dry stuff first. Two tablespoons of baking soda. One tablespoon of Dawn dish liquid. Let's mix this in just a little bit so that our baking soda doesn't erupt or anything. I don't know what it's going to do. So. There's our baking soda and our Dawn dish liquid. And three to four tablespoons of peroxide. Now apparently, when you use this, you will never buy those oxygen powders again. So let's see, let's get this all mixed up. Now you're supposed to rub this into the stains with a brush. All right, let's start with my favorite Cabela's t-shirt. There's a grease stain, and these all just came out of the dryer. So let's get some of this and just scrub it in with a toothbrush. There's a couple more spots. Here's, now I'm going to see if I can get every spot. That's one, two, three, four, five spots, six. Because let's face it, folks, when you're in the Mrs. Wolfie's kitchen, you know me. I don't always remember to wear an apron. Okay, there's one. Now here is a beautiful blouse that Wolfie got me for Christmas last year. And I was, you see this grease, these grease stains here? There's one, two, three, four of them. Five, six. I don't know what I was doing, but I made a mess. So again, let's just take the toothbrush and scrub this in. Now this is supposed to work on seriously set in stains. And if you haven't seen me wear this blouse, it's because there are some seriously set in grease spots. Okay, here's a couple more right here. Okay, I'm hoping I got all those little grease spots. Now, let's get out the big guns. This is my washboard. And this is just, you've probably seen me use this in the past to set jars on when it comes out of the, when they come out of the dishwasher. But this, my friends, is a tea stain. Somebody put a tea bag down on it. I'm going to pour some of this on here, right on this stain. And then I'm just going to give it a rub, because it says to scrub it in, but I'm going to give it a rub on the washboard. And trust me folks, these are all seriously set in stains. This is blood. Any more tea stains in here? This is just a big yellow spot, probably tea. I'm running out of the stuff guys. So, don't ever let anyone tell you that scrub boards have gone out of style. I'm just going to throw these in the washing machine with my little bag of soap nuts. 
And to make matters worse, I'm going to do this in cold. All right, we'll see you guys when this stuff all gets washed and comes out of the dryer. Let's see if our supposedly miracle stain remover worked. Well, it didn't get out. It didn't get out the tea stain. Mind you, that's been there a while, but it got out a lot of it, and it did take out the blood. So, <clears throat> so far, that's one stain it did remove, one it didn't. Now let's see my favorite Cabela shirt. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Look at that. Not one grease mark. Not one. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try my shirt that Daddy bought me. This one was heavily spattered. There is one very, very faint mark there. But, uh, no, that did a beautiful job. This is the Miss Evolfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying Dawn Dish Soap baking soda and peroxide. Yeah, 8 out of 10.